Shalom Alechem, blessed souls. <coughs> this is Dhamma talk. <coughs> Don't this is a good one. Excuse me. And this is part two. In the series Bezal Hashem with the blessing of the Most High. To vibe out with you blessed souls. To share with you some concepts that hopefully you want to look into more deeply by purchasing this book, Holiday My Morning by the Lubavitcher Rebbe, with commentary by the Tzemek Tzedek, who was the third Lubavitcher Rebbe. And of course, Holiday My Morning is by the seventh Lubavitcher Rebbe, a direct descendant of Kings David and Solomon, Shlomo HaMelech and Dovid HaMelech. So I'm going to ask you 11 questions, blessed souls. That basically will be basically impossible for you to answer them unless you turn to this book, which was written by Rabbi David Rothschild, who currently resides in the Ira Kodesh, the holy city of Tzfat, Tzfas, Israel. And here are questions which you can find the answer to if you turn to page three of this book. And here they go. Question number one, blessed souls. What occurred at the splitting of the Red Sea? Question two. What world was revealed at the time of the splitting of the Red Sea? Question three, blessed souls. The Red Sea is also known and translated into English as the Sea of Reeds. But in Hebrew, Lashon HaKodesh, the Holy Tongue, it's called Yam Suf. The word suf in Hebrew has the exact same spelling as the word sof, the Hebrew word sof. What does the Hebrew word sof mean? Question number four, blessed souls. What does the Hebrew word sof allude to? Question five, blessed souls. David Melech, King David wrote in Psalms 33 verse 6, The heavens were made with what? of Hashem, the Almighty. Again, turn to page to chapter 33, Perik, Lamad Gimel, in Tehillim and Psalms, and go to verse 6, Posik Vov. Question 6, Blessed Souls. What creates all the worlds? Question 7, Blessed Souls. What will be, excuse me, what will be needed to reveal the revelation, the Giloi, or Giloyim, of Mashiach's Torah, the Messiah's Torah, line of Judah, Ariyashu Yehuda. What will be needed to reveal again the Giloim, the revelations of Mashiach, Messiah's Torah? Question number eight, blessed souls. What does the Zohar, Kodesh, the holy Zohar, the book of shining, the book of light, address? What does the Zohar address the garment of thought via allegory? Question 9, blessed souls. What never remains still? Question 10, blessed souls. In Isaiah chapter 2, verse 2. What is the connection? between the end of days and the nations of the world, the blessed children of Noah. The last question, blessed souls, in this segment. When the Yam Suf, the Sea of Reeds, the Red Sea, was split, what was permitted to happen? And again, blessed souls, the answer to these questions and to be found in Holiday May Morn by the Lubavitcher Rebbe, compiled by Rabbi David Rothschild, with commentary by the Tzemek Tzedek. Remember, a question is half an answer, but you need the other half to get the full answer and the full picture, which the Torah, the eternal instructions of the Most High, the Almighty, 
has provided for the children of men, man and woman, and every woman and child, to seek him, and he shall be found within us. For already, as it says in Proverbs, chapter 21, verse 2, the Almighty resides within our heart. And this brief video was dedicated for those whose love will not depart from the due attention that must be given to the Torah, which has the answers for all that ails the human race, which seems to be wandering aimlessly within the confines of time, soul, and space. So concluding here, but hopefully not ending, Blessed Souls, this is Dhamma Talk, Sababa Rejoice. Ahav echad, one love. Gorel echad, one destiny. Badarchi noam, in a pleasant way. Badarchi shalom, and in a peaceful way. Laham shikh, to be continued. Laolam fa'ed, forever. Bezad Hashem, with the help of the Almighty.